What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build this login screen with KVMD and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna build this login screen with KVMD. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, so we are moving right along with KVMD. So I thought in this video, we'd build this little login screen. Now we're not actually logging into anything because we haven't built any you know, database or functionality, but we're gonna build the design of this thing and we're gonna make it sort of the buttons work so you can click on it and it does a thing and you can clear the screen. And you see, we've got these nice round input boxes. They have icons. If we type in the password here, we get little stars and uh, it actually does something. It's not actually checking for logging in, like I said, but we're most of the way there. All right, so we've got our basic Kiwi starter code that we've been using for a while now. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the other Kiwi playlist videos. There's, I don't know, 40 or so and growing Kiwi videos. If you haven't seen those, check those out. So. All right, we've got our main app here. We've imported our things and I set the theme to dark. You can set it to light. I just picked a color blue gray. We talked in the last video about color themes and stuff. So I'll just stick with that. And we've got our builder pointing to login.kv. So we can head over there and we've got just a blank KV file here. All right, so let's start to build this thing out. And I just want a little box thing in the middle. We'll use a card for that just to sort of make it look like it's an app inside of our app just for fun and also just to show you how to use cards with KVMD. So let's give this a size underscore hint of none and none. And let's give this a size of, I don't know, like 300 by 400. And we wanna give it a position underscore hint of like right in the middle. So let's go center underscore X and let's put that at 0 0.5. And we also want a center underscore Y and let's put that also at 0 0.5 should stick us right in the middle. And let's give this an elevation of, I don't know, 10 to kind of raise it up a little bit, give it a little bit of a shadow. And if we want to give this some padding and we can, we can go 25 or so. And also spacing, let's give this some spacing of like 25, doesn't really matter. Now we want this thing, we want everything inside of this to be up and down. So let's give this an orientation of vertical. Okay, so that should, be okay. Let's go ahead and save this and run it. Head over to our Git Bash terminal, run python login.py. And when we do, we see we get this nice little box in the middle. And again, if we wanted this to be, let's head back over here to our Python file, we could set this to light if we wanted to. Run this guy again. And you see now we've got the light. You see it's kind of raised up a little bit. That's that 10 elevation whatever you like. I kind of like the dark. So we're going to go ahead and stick with that. So let's change that back. Okay. So now we've got our little card. Let's stick a label at the top of it. So let's go MD label. And we want the text to say something like, Oh, come, <laughs> right? I don't know. And let's give this an ID also. And let's just call this welcome underscore label we're going to need to access this later on because when we hit the button we want to update this label so we can do that and let's give this a font underscore size of like i don't know 40 make it nice and big and let's give this an h align of a center stick it in the middle of the screen we can also give this a size hint underscore y of like of none and let's go height and set this equal to self dot texture underscore size with we'll pass a one in there. And let's also give this a padding Y of like, I don't know, 15 or so. So okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it see what this looks like. So login dot pi and oh, it is way down there. That is not what we want. So let's head back over here. And I think I know what I did. Uh, yeah, so all of this, obviously, boom, we need to put that in there. Go ahead and save this, run this guy again. That's why we run these in increments. And we now see the welcome down to the bottom. As we put more things, this will be pushed up to the top. So, okay, so far, so good. So let's come down here and let's now create an MD text 
field round, <laughs> right? And let's give this an ID of user. And let's give this a hint underscore text of username. This is the text that's gonna be in the box itself, the little sort of grayed out text that goes away as soon as you start typing. That's called hint text. And we could pick an icon. Let's go icon underscore right. We want it on the right side. And the icon we wanna use is account. I just got this from going into the Kivi Kitchen Sink app, looking at the icons, picking one that I liked. Account works good. And let's give this a size underscore hint underscore X of none. And let's give this a width of like, what, 200 or so. And let's go font underscore size, like 18-ish. And we also wanna give this a position underscore hint of, let's go center underscore X and let's put this at 0.5. All right, so let's go ahead and save this, run it, make sure this looks okay. Boom, boom. Okay, so we've got, it says username, it's got the little icon, the account icon. When we click on it, it kind of changes. Okay, so far so good. So now we want another one of those. Head back over to our code, and let's just kind of copy this whole thing and paste it in again. But instead of user, we want this to say password. And instead of it saying username, let's type in password. And instead of account, let's go I dash off. The rest of this stuff is gonna be the same, but we want this to be a password field so we can type password true. This will convert everything we type into little stars, right? So let's go ahead and save this, run it, see how this looks. Okay, so username, password, when we click, when we type stuff, boom, it comes in as stars. That one still works. Okay, I like this icon. So far, so good. So now we need some buttons. So let's come back over here and let's go MD round flat button. So I think we looked at flat buttons in the last video. They're sort of outlined and I want this to be round because we're keeping this all round. See like there. Okay, so let's go text. What do we want this text to say? Let's go log in. <laughs> and let's give this a font underscore size of like 12. Let's give this a position underscore hint of center underscore X and let's go 0 0.5, stick it right in the middle of the screen. And yeah, I think that'll work. And let's just copy this guy and paste it in again. But this one will say, glare, we're using all caps today. I don't know why. It's Monday, we need all caps. We need to scream, say it loud, it's Monday. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so that's looking good, log in clear. And uh, I don't know, maybe we wanna push all this stuff up a little bit. We can put something underneath here just to kind of push everything up. And if you wanna do that, I suppose we could. We just come down here and just create a widget. Not really gonna put anything in it. Let's just go size underscore hint, underscore Y and go none. And then let's give this a height of, how much space do we want? Like maybe 10? or so, that'll push everything up just a little bit, maybe kind of look better, I don't know. It's just, uh, yeah, that looks a little better. Everything seems a little more centered. Okay, so that's pretty much it, we're done. Now, uh, if we wanna make these things clickable and stuff, which I suppose we do, we can do that. So let's head back over here. And for the buttons, let's go on underscore press. We've done this sort of thing before, but it's a little bit different now. Uh, we're not doing like root dot something. We're just gonna go app dot whatever. And I'm gonna call this logger, <laughs> right? And we might as well come down here and do another one. And let's call this clear. So we wanna clear the screen. Now we just need to create these two functions. So super easy, head back over to our login.py file and inside of here, but not inside of our build function, we wanna define logger and we wanna pass in self, right? And we also want to define clear. And we also want to pass in self for that. So here with this logger, we don't, we're not actually logging in or anything, but we just, but we do want to change that label at the top just to make sure we clicked it and it worked, right? So if we cut back over here and let's see, up here it says welcome. We called this welcome label. So copy this. And here we could just go self.root.ids dot welcome underscore label dot text and we can set that equal to anything we want so if we create an f string i can go sup <laughs> sup who says sup anymore 
And inside of here, maybe we want to update it with whatever's in this box. So that's the user. So we could just go inside of here, self dot root dot IDS dot user dot text. And I think we definitely need an exclamation point. <laughs> right. Okay, so let's save this or run it, see if that worked. Oh, wait, you know what? You gotta put something here. So Python doesn't lose its mind. All right, so pass will work. All right. All right, so we've got username, we could type in John, we could click log in, boom, sup, John, <laughs> All right, whatever. And now we've got this clear button, it doesn't do anything yet. So let's fix that right up. So same thing down here, we could just sort of uh, copy this whole thing. And instead of setting this equal to something stupid, like saying sup, we could just set it equal to nothing. Or this is actually the welcome. So we want to put this back to welcome, right? But we also need two more of these. And inside of each of these, we want nothing. But these are not going to be the welcome label. Instead, this is going to be user. And this is going to be password. Because that's what we call those two form input boxes, right? These guys, user and password. So all this will do is just set the text inside of them back to nothing. We put, you know, nothing there, right? So we can go ahead and save this, run it one more time. And so I could type in John and then type some sort of password, click this, sup John, click clear. This goes back to welcome. This goes back to nothing. Click clear again, disappears. Okay. Sup, as daz. <laughs> so a quick and easy little login screen. Now, obviously, we don't have to have this card here. If you're building an actual app, you wouldn't have a card there, you would just build this stuff into the actual app. And I just put the card there to make it look like a little app inside of our app, because I don't know, I'm crazy that way. And it's Monday morning. And uh, these interesting how to add a little icon, you just put icon, right, slap in your icon, very cool password, you just set password equal to true. And this turns into little stars. So it's sort of hidden as you type. Buttons work as the buttons work. You know, we already sort of know how to use buttons. We've done this many times, it's slightly different in this video because of the way we set up our Python file. You know, in the past, we would just pass that to root, but now we pass it to instead, boom, boom where do we go? App, instead of, you know, in the past we've gone root, right? That's just because we're setting up our Python file a little bit differently now that we're using KVMD than we did in the past when we weren't using KVMD. So instead we just call app and pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 on memberships. You pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from CodeMe.com and I'll see you in the next video.